Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Luigi's Mansion with me, Rock Paper Mario. Um, and we're here in the safari room and we're just about to go and fight what is my least favourite ghost to catch in the game. Well, it, this ghost isn't exactly hard but he's really annoying and it can be very aggravating towards the end. Um, so without further ado, let's open the door and see him and you'll see the most horrific thing in the world. Well, I don't think... Well, this is retarded commentary. Well, this is the boss of Area 3 as you probably know because I've probably said that about five times at this stage. Um, and as you can guess, my sentiment isn't all that positive towards him. And as you can see, the gaydar is going mental down there. It's flashing red like nobody's business. Flashing red to beat the band. Um, and as we go over here, we'll see a ring of boos. Is it 15, I think? 15 boos to be precise. And they say, That scaredy cat Luigi has made it this far. Oh, we're so frightened. I guess it's our turn then. All right, boos, let's assume our real form. But first, how about giving him a little scare? And we get this, this rad cutscene. I just love this cutscene. And I always remember this cutscene when I think about this game. This is the first cutscene I think about. I love this cutscene. And this is the battle arena for the third boss. Um, I hope I don't have capture issues with this like I had in Bogmire's boss battle. But there's no lightning in this, so maybe that won't give an effect. And what is this? It is... Something scary. An enormous boo! Look at the size of that thing. It looks like a giant... Well, I'm not going to say what it looks like a giant. It's a hulking boo. I want no interference from this hulking boob, and he hit me already. I want no interference from this hulking boob. Well, what you've got to do is suck him with the hoover and hit him onto the unicorn's horn, and he'll burst into all the small boobs. Now, what you've got to do then is freeze the boobs and um, um, suck them up. Now, it's not that hard at the moment, but when you get down, when there are just boobs all over the place, but when you get down to there being much less boobs, then it gets a lot harder and when you get down to that last one it can be really just a real pain. Now as you can see he's after getting much smaller because um, I'm after sucking up. I probably got like about five or six boos in that which that was good going. But yeah you've got to aim him onto the horn. The horn! The horn! Yeah like in Pokemon. Like in that battle against Blaine. Now I find that they'll try and sneak up on you so if you kind of just go and then spin around then you'll catch him. And don't worry about running out of ice because every time you suck one up, then then um, every time you suck one up, then uh, it'll count as more ice into your le ice level. Now this boss can take ages because when you get down to these last five, it can be a real pain. It it really can. Sorry, but this I just this boss is just so annoying, and I must sound like just the biggest whiny baby. Um, what can actually be useful is using your ice blast thing. And look, he hit me. Well, I'm down to a silver portrait already now. Um, I've, this is one of those ghosts that I've never gotten a gold portrait on. This hulking boob. I want no interference from this hulking boob. <laughs> I've had just had about enough of your insults. Well, I've just had about enough of this small town. With its dunces, dullards, dumbbells, dimwit. And you, you chowderhead yokel, you... Blithering hayseed, you've had about enough of me? Yes, I have. Yeah, well, I've had just about enough of this because it's annoying the hell out of me. I've got to get more ice. But yeah, it's not that... It's just when you get down to this level, this boss just gets just too irritating for words. Look, I'm down to the last five. What can be useful is if you use your um, ice blast because that just gets them straight away. Look, like I got one there. Did he fall out there or something. Yeah, I probably did. That can be annoying as well. Um, they're going to reform in a minute. Um, time to get more ice. <laughs> get some more. Yeah, you know what I'm going to say. So yeah, look, he's he's hardly any bigger than a normal boo now, and this boss fight is taking ages. I, I dare not look at my clock for... So yeah, if you... I, as I said, if you just stay in one spot and then turn around when they're going to hit you sometimes that works but it basically it's just pot luck and this can go on for ages this boss fight is much longer than any of the rest of them and that's why oh there's one get out you cannot imagine how annoyed i am and i'm the kind of person that does get annoyed when i'm playing when i'm fighting where's the ice ghost when i'm fighting this boss fight because it do it can get really just so annoying it just <laughs> 
and this is probably the most boring commentary anyone's ever heard. Look, I'm just here walking around like a dumbass, shooting ice around and not hitting anything. Because look, they're just flying all over the place. I have to hand them, this this game isn't very hard, but this boss fight does... It's possibly the only game part of the game that is hard, other than the part that comes up after this. And if you're going for 100%, um, getting all the rich ghosts and all the um, gold mice, that can be kind of tricky at times as well. But yeah, this boss is hard. It's actually one of the most aggravating bosses in any game, I would hazard to say. In any new game, because games aren't really hard anymore. Games stopped being hard a long time ago, really. Um, yeah, so just shoot your ice like a crazy person, really, is all I can say. That's the only advice I can give, and then and hope that it'll hit one of them. I, I think I, there are only three of them left now. Is it? Well, there's the ice ghost. I need more ice. That's the only advice I can give. Like, he's not going to do anything to you here. And, like, he's not going to do much damage to you anyway unless you, like, get frustrated. Well, there's another one. Come on, suck him up. Suck him up, Luigi. Oh, you asshole. See, this is what I'm talking about. He can just be the biggest dick ever when it's like this. And when it just... They just... And especially when he reforms when you're just about to suck up one that you've frozen because you get little few and few chances enough to freeze one anyway and then he just goes and reforms again on you well there you go as far as i know on your second playthrough well yeah i have played through this well there you go one left come on one bullet left laughing boy one but yes one bullet du -du 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 -du! oh i'm so glad that's over that probably took like about seven minutes in itself Oh, well, I'm happy that I haven't made too much of a horse's ass of myself on screen with that, because I was afraid I was just going to make a total jackass of myself. Well, that's probably what you would have enjoyed. People love Schadenfreude. And here we go, we get the Area 3 key. Only one more area left in the entire game, believe it or not. <coughs> Luigi! <coughs> Old man wears! <laughs> Sorry. Luigi, can you hear me? Oh, what a relief. The white mist interrupted your signal. Hmm, you seem to have done some serious work there. Won't you come back to the lab? Dexter's lab. We can have dinner while we gaze at these ghost paintings. Yes, I'd like that very much. Tonight, I'll make an old family recipe. Pickle dandelions. Dandelions. Dandelions with barnacles and a diesel marinade. Well, dandelion comes from the French meaning the tooth of a lion because of the way their leaves are shaped like teeth. Well, they have, they have like teeth patterns in them. Oh, here's this scene I love again. Looks like we got a vacuum full of ghosts there. Yeah, we do. Why do you say we put them through the old... Yeah, that thing. I'm, I'm not going to say it again. I, I've made a fool of myself too much. Go on, stick that in there and enjoy the ride. <laughs> There's the teapot again. And look at all those ghosts. Let's see how we did. We got a, a gold portrait or two, but most of them are going to be silver, I'd say. Come on. I'll do the noise for old time's sake. <laughs> and here we go. There's a ghost, generic ghost picture. Joe, that ghost always reminds me of Joe in Pokemon when um, when you go to the tower in Lavender Town before you get the Sylph scope and you see the ghost. Then that's what that always reminds me of. That that just generic ghost picture. Well, there's the gold portrait of Madame Clairvoya. Well, we'll run through them all in a minute. Let's just watch the wheels go around again. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Come on, hurry up. Gee, there there are a lot of them. There's the pig, Miss Piggy. Did the pizza goes bananas? Oh, I, sh I so could have said that when I was doing, like, the bash, you know, like, in the Muppet movie when... Is that Mel Brooks is in that? Yeah, I think it's Mel Brooks says that, and he's like, Oh, a pizza goes bananas? What is this, a luo? <laughs> Thanks for your help, Luigi. So you've caught... Madame Clairvoya. Beef Atlas. Stupid voice. Nana. Miss Petunia. Slim bank shot. Henry and Orville. And Boo Losses. Well, only two gold portraits there. That's a bit of a disappointment. You've got a total of 16 ghosts. Well, now we've gotten loads of money as well. Look at all that money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurry up, hurry up. I, I don't know if I have enough time to do this. Well, I probably do. Yeah, hell yeah, I'll save. Yeah, we have loads of money. All that money. And as you can see, our boo count has gone up from 23... Is it? Yeah, 23 to 38, because boo losses is worth 15 boos. 
So we actually only have 12 more boos to catch before we have all of them. Well, where will we go? We'll go to the gallery like we always do after finishing an area. Um, and we'll go look at the portraits. Now this is the first one and that's Nana, a silver portrait. Which is pretty cool I must say. Her gold portrait is really cool as well. If I remember correctly, her gold portrait is like really wavy and crazy looking. Well there's Madame Clairefoya in a rather cool portrait. I've actually never seen the bronze or silver portrait. I suppose I could look it up. Well, there's the gold portrait of Biff Atlas, and I think that's the first time I've ever gotten a gold portrait of him. And look look at those muscles. Look at the shading on his muscles. Um, I think I got silver portraits of all the rest of them. Yeah, I did. Look, there's the silver Miss Petunia. As you can see, she's a bit blurry looking. I, I get gold in her sometimes. Um, what else? Oh, there's Henry and Orville, the, tw the, the twins. Will you stop that? Mm hmm? There they are, and that's quite cool. As far as I know, the gold portrait, if I remember correctly, is just like a less blurry version of that. Um, it's nothing much different. Mm. Here's Sling Bankshot's gold or silver portrait, which I think is pretty cool in itself. It's like a little sketch. The gold portrait is really cool, though. It's like him, and he has he's like shooting pool, and he has kind of like a film noir kind of stereo or cliched. Mm. Um, there's Bulasas all pixelated, like something. Of, it looks like um in Super Paper Mario when um in that level is it Area Three or something? The place with the chameleon, Francis or whatever his name is. I don't really like that game that much, but that's what it reminds me of because that's a really pixelated e level. Um, what was I saying? Oh, Slim Bankshot, and it has like these this shading, like cliche film noir, um, blinds. That what you're called? Yeah, blinds shading across it, and it just looks looks really cool. I'd love to get it someday. Well, we're going to go back to the lab, but we're actually going to go to the mansion because I think we have time to go um, and look at very quickly and go to our flower um, and water it. I'll actually, um, just in case, I'm actually going to cut ahead to it. Yeah, here we are. Um, as you can see, our plant has grown into a big pod, and if you water it, come on, you'll find it opens into an open pod. And you get, uh, not only do you get a load of uh, bills, but you also get this, which is a gold diamond. And there's only one other ones of them in the game. Um, and that's actually the reward for collecting all 50 boos, is that other gold diamond. Um, so, I guess, in the well, in the next video, we're actually going to go and go water the plants, probably. Or else we're going to, we're actually going to continue on to the next area of the game. Um... After and see the cutscene that uh, the, see what happens after you catch Bulasas. Um, so, without further ado, I'll, why is he looking up like that? Is there, is there something? Wait, is there something important up there? Well, there isn't. Oh, and I'll do the ghost bio for Bulasas as well in the next part. So, um, I think I'm gone over time. So I'll see you then. Bye. Thanks for watching.